Todd Dunn here on May 15, 2018. We're backing the sailboat out of the parking lot where we put the masts up and we're gonna get ready to launch it. And a few obstacles. A truckload of lobster gear that somebody felt was appropriate to park right smack in the middle of the parking lot. And there's the ramp we're headed for. If we can clear this pickup truck. Might be good if you pulled forward a little. Or just pull into one of the parking spots on the other side. I think he's underneath one of the docks over there. There we go. It's a little jerky. And here we go, down into the water. Once we get in, I'll be setting the camera down while I start the engine, and then we will be underway, and the boating season will be officially begun for 2018. At this point, they're going to uh, disconnect the trailer from the tractor and run it down into the water with cable. And once the boat starts to float, we'll be in good shape. And I'll back it off the rest of the way. So it'll go pretty quickly. Yep, here we go, backing in. As soon as the boat starts to float, I'll start the engine and we should be underway pretty soon. All right, I'm underway for the 2018 season. We're headed up to the Great Harbor Marina to tie the boat up. We'll motor around a little, see what's out here. It's a nice day so far. It's supposed to start raining in a couple of hours. See the fog out there past the cranberries. I'm blowing up over MDI. Yeah, there's a big boat coming out here. Don't know what it is. Okay, another sailboat maneuvering. Water. That's where we're headed. I don't know exactly where I'm going in there yet because there are two possible slips that I could go to. Depending on uh, you know, which, if my regular slip is open, which I don't think it is. I think there's a sailboat in it. I can see a mast. So. A nice start to the season. Very pretty day. There's the Coast Guard. And the only tricky part about maneuvering up here is dodging all the moorings. 
there's no lobster gear in here yet. So I'm going to head up to my mooring, pick my mooring up, and decide and uh, take a look further up harbor and see if, if my slip is open or if I'm have to go to an alternate. So it'll be a couple minutes yet. Ah, I've finished rigging up and I'm maneuvering for the marina. My regular slip is occupied, so I'm going to an alternate. So we'll be over there in a couple minutes. Just have to go around this breakwater and maneuver in. Shouldn't be any issues. It's high tide right now, plenty of water. We'll get in and tie up. So I'm going to be busy driving the boat, so I'm going to shut down here for until I'm at the dock. Okay, it's a couple hours later. I, uh, I put the dodger on and trimmed up the uh, shrouds and stays to get the spars straight up and down. And we're just about due for a little bit of rain. I also wanted to make a note of my solar how well it's been working, which was really quite of a, a surprise. I'll have it for you in just a second, as soon as it connects. As you can see it's really calm now. There was a bit of a breeze earlier. And as we pan around, it's uh, pretty quiet here. The breeze is coming up a little. It's supposed to start raining pretty soon. So I'm going to get the uh, mizzen boom on and uh, hopefully I can get that before the rain becomes an issue. Right now it's completely overcast on the verge of rain. And my two 20 watt solar panels wired, wired in parallel are putting out 10 watts, which is pretty good. And it's got my batteries up to 13.37 volts. And it's currently charging at 0.8 amps. That's a Victron Smart Solar 7510 MPPT charge controller. I'm very happy with it so far. Let's take a look at the history and see what it's done today. So far today, I put in 90 watt hours. And we had a peak of 49 watts from the two panels. And it's working pretty well. 90 watt hours, divide that by 13 volts, is about uh, seven amp hours, which is pretty good considering it's only a little after one o'clock now. And the boat was in a building until 8.30. Anyway, here I am aboard Sequester. It's a little cluttered right now, haven't finished cleaning the boat yet. And there's junk all over. Just hooked up the radar. And everything looks pretty good. It's nice to be on the water. And so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to fire up the chart plotter. I connected the radar to it, which wasn't working last year, but I made a couple software changes which hopefully will have the radar working. So I'm going to fire it up and see how it goes. Okay, here's the chart plotter and I'm about to uh, tell it to transmit. And we'll see what happens. There we go. Radar! Wow, that's a nice improvement. This is Lowrance Broadband Radar, the first generation. And the uh, Range rings there are an eighth of a mile, or 220 yards. And you can see the docks at the marina. I'll zoom in a little. Now the range rings are 100 feet. And you can see I've got a bit of a blind spot ahead of me from my main mast, but uh, you can see the other dock, and these are the piers. There are no boats over there. Those are uh, finger piers. So it's working pretty well. We'll zoom out a little. 
So we've got a total of 300 feet. And you can see a lot of detail there. Astern of the boat, you can see a ledge over here. And these are lobster, oh, those are moorings over there. So we got lots of information on there and I'm glad to have it working again. It was simply a software glitch that had made it stop working last year. I had to reset the entire system. But now it's functional and I'm happy with it. Anyway, that kind of finishes up what I wanted to do today. It's good to be back on the water for another season. There we are looking out the companionway. And uh, I'm enjoying being on the water for another season and looking forward to a good season on the water with both this, my sailboat, Sequester, and my 1936 wooden powerboat, Tortuga, which should go in the water in about another 10 days. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a like if you did. And if you haven't already done it, please subscribe to my channel. And I will be posting more on the water videos as the summer goes on. Thanks a lot.